Hello friends, welcome to Java Tricky Program series. So let's see what we have for today. So here I have this program where I'm creating a random class and then I'm having this string buffer wood which is actually null right here and then I have this switch case where I'm saying random dot next int and 5 so it will give me any random integer between 0 and 4 now there are different cases like if it will uh, return 1 then word will be new string buffer character p similarly I have case for 2 and default so and then I am appending different characters to this word string buffer and finally I am printing this to the console so what will be the output of this program so uh, we know that it will return between 0 and 4 but we don't know it could be either 1 2 or go to default so it could be like in getting initialized first to new string buffer p or this one or this one but there is one catch here notice that there is no break so eventually it will come here to default clause and every time we, re we are initializing it again so it will get initialized by this line new string buffer character m then we are appending a i n so it looks like it will print main m a i n let's just run this program and figure it out so if you run this program actually it's just printing a i n why it did not printed m let's try to run this program again because we are using random so even if we print multiple times it always prints this thing so what is happening why it's not taking m into consideration so the reason is when we initialize this string buffer and we are passing this character m notice that in a string buffer there is no constructor where we can pass character so what actually is happening here is that it is being converted to int even if I put my mouse over it you can see that it's pointing to a string buffer int capacity constructor so actually in this line it is getting initialized but the value is empty in this line when I am saying append so we have this method where we can append a character so hence it's appending all these three a i n characters to this string buffer and printing word final value as a i n only we can actually check this thing by printing the capacity of this string buffer so to make sure that this is actually being initialized to an empty string buffer and the capacity is the integer we are passing here m let's just print its capacity so if i say sysout word dot capacity it will print 77 that is the ascii value of character m if we just print word here it should just print empty so yeah it's empty so these are some of the not known methods that you will find so always take good care when you are using characters so for example if i just change it to a string then it will always print main in the last line thank you thanks for watching bye bye